All right, thionyl chloride used as an oxidizing and chlorinating agent in organic chemistry. We want to select the best Lewis structure for SOCl2. We start this by figuring out how many valence electrons there are. And on this one, um, let's see, 6 plus 6 plus 14. Um, okay, so we got, uh, uh, there, and then there's no way that A and E are correct. So let's see, does B have the right number? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 1820. Yep, that looks fine. So does C, so does D. So alright, so all all three of the middle ones have the proper number of electrons. Alright, so what we're gonna check on these three is whether or not the formal charges are okay. Alright, we'll start with B. Let's see, we have a formal charge of 6 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That has a formal charge of 0. Chlorine has a formal charge of 0. That chlorine has a formal charge of 0. And sulfur, 6 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, everything's 0. That's a perfectly acceptable structure. Now, just to check it, we're going to look at C and see that the oxygen was drawn like this and the sulfur are the only mistakes. That particular oxygen has a negative one formal charge and this sulfur actually ends up with a positive one formal charge. And D sulfur is okay. It's the chlorine that gets the negative. So the oxygen's a negative one and that particular chlorine ends up being a positive one. So B is our answer. It has all the formal charges as low as possible, has all the electrons arranged, and it, does, it is an acceptable structure for thionyl chloride.